Hi, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Panini Certified Football. Eight box, pick your team number nine, the first half of this case. All card ship. A um, lot, of, lot of great inserts and relics and autographs and memorabilia and all that lovely stuff. Big thanks to this group who made it happen. I appreciate it. On a Choo Tuesday, the 25th. Pick your team at nine. Hopefully we'll have some choo-choos in here. Dominic ended up with last spot mojo with the Panthers before we pulled the remaining teams with that team random. If you've got a little rooftop next to your name like Alan, that means you won that spot in the uh, in that filler. All right, so thanks everybody there. Let's pop open this case. It's sort of an awkward size here. There. All right, so we've got eight boxes on the right side, eight boxes on the left side. So we'll use this die right here. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Let's get a good roll in this narrow space here. One. So we'll go left side right here. This side we'll save for, uh, for break 10. those little squigglies there so they know they're from the same case. In fact, that's just down to a couple teams. This could be our very next break right after this. And let me uh, let's take this out of inventory here. Good luck, everybody. So here's what we're looking for. Two autographs, two memorabilia cards per box on average. You got Jerry Rice and Garrett Wilson on the cover here. Are they, what are they implying? Is that, are they suggesting, they believe that Garrett Wilson could be a Jerry Rice caliber? That'd be, that'd be hashtag good for the hobby. Now that the, the dust has settled on week seven, we got, we got the Jets on a four game winning streak. They're five and two, they're right behind the Bills, five and one. They lost Brees Hall, but they picked up James Robinson. How do we like that move? Adam Kupperman, do we like that move? If he's still in the chat? He's a Jets guy. Dolphins are four and three, they got a win behind Tua. Patriots fall into three and four against the Bears. Ravens and Bengals are both four and three. Cleveland and Pittsburgh are both two and five. Titans on a four-game winning streak. I think they had a bye last week, right? They're still they're still, they're at four and two. Colts are three three and one, making a big change at QB. Sam Ellinger, dust off your Sam Ellinger. Ellinger, Ellinger. Either way, dust them off. Is that they're planning on going with them the rest of the way. There's Hunter Renfro to 349. 
unless he's uh, just completely not effective, then maybe they'll go back to Matt Ryan. There's Keontae Ingram for the Cardinals. That'll be for Allen. The Hunter Renfro will go to the Raiders. My Raiders, that'll be for Jeffrey. And our first hit is a Garrett Wilson Relic. 199 out of 349. New generation relic for the Jets. That goes to Jared, who won the Jets in the filler. Did I upload that filler video? Yes, I did. Okay. There's Nick Bonito, uh, 94 out of 99. An all card ship, of course. And there's John Mechie, the third. Freshman fabric, two color patch and autograph. 180 out of 199. What I remember about certified is a lot of times even the high, some higher numbered cards give you some, uh, some decent color, which is always cool. That'll be for the Texans. It's going to go to Alex. There's Khalil Shakir to 275. We've got a Sky Moore 2022 card here. Reach for the Sky. George Kittle to 275. And a Trayvon Walker, 31 out of 349, piece of his jersey, going to the Jags. That'll be for Riley at the Jaguars. So I guess James Robinson for the Jaguars is going to New York. Now hopefully Travis Etienne's stock uh, goes up. That's what we're hoping. That would be hashtag good for the hobby. Here's Devontae Wyatt. Three, uh, 31 out of 50. Rookie autograph for Green Bay. Nick with the Packers. Packers have to figure some things out too. All right, box one in the books. Box two. The AFC West, did we get to the AFC South? I think we did. AFC West, Chiefs, five and two. I think they're, they'll be coming out of a bye, right, in week eight. Chargers are four and three. And Raiders, my Raiders winning out of the bye. They, are, they beat the Texans. They are two and four. Broncos are two and five. My Raiders can go on a little run. They kind of have a softish schedule with the Texans. They beat them. And then they got they got the Saints. They, they're at Saints, at Jags. So a tough little back-to-back uh, -back roadie there. But then they come back home to host the Colts at Denver. Can get another dub there, that would be great. At Seattle, another back-to-back -back roadie. So there's a little bit of a challenge there. Some softer teams, but the challenge of going on the road is definitely there. So if they do all right there, that could set up a really interesting early December matchup with, with this guy here, Justin Herbert. It's Mark Andrews to 199. We've got Tresson Ebner to 90, 199. Bears with a big win over the uh, Patriots last night. And then we got a rookie roll call. Roll call! 8 out of 25. Jahan Dotson. That's for Diego with the Commanders. And I'll do a little autograph uh, and, and relic recap. At the end of this video, it's my slightly longer video. 
We got a 14 out of 99 seal of approval, David Montgomery for the Bears. That'll be for Nestor. And a Carson Strong, freshman fabric, jersey, and autograph to 299. 212 out of 299. For the Fly Eagles, Fly. That will be for Brandon. Got randomized the Eagles in the uh, in the filler. There's Desmond Ritter to 325. I don't know if we'll, uh, we'll see him in action. Brody with the Falcons. I guess Mariota's been doing pretty well. There's Malik Willis. Will we see him start some games? 247 out of 399. New generation jersey. For Daniel and the Titans. Got the Titans in the filler. We got C.D. Lamb to 149 for Dallas. That'll be for that'll be for Emma, the Cowboys. And there's Desmond Ritter for the ATL New Generation jersey, 167 out of 199. Thought it was gonna be an autograph for a second. Brody with the Falcons, the Dirty Birds. There you go. That's to 199. And we got a Michael Pittman Jr. to 275. Colts. Cooper Cup for the Rams, of course. All right, another box down. Another one to go. Raiders made a deal too. They got they traded uh, Hankins, the defensive tackle, to the Cowboys. Jonathan Hankins for some draft picks. Nothing too crazy. I'm not sure how how active they'll be. Eagles are six and zero. Oh. Giants are six and one. Can you believe that? Four game winning streak. Giants are looking pretty good. Cowboys are five and two. They got Prescott back, Commanders three and four. Minnesota on top of that, the NFC North, five and one on a four game winning streak. Packers on a three game losing streak. And going opposite directions. Bears with a win, three and four. Lions with uh, another loss, four in a row for them. They're one and five. NFC South looking a little weak here. Buccaneers and Falcons are tied for first with three and four records. Panthers are two and five. Saints are two and five. I'm gonna check out the NFC West in the next box. Here's this one. We got Najee Harris to two seventy five. Nick Chubb to seventy five. We got a lion coming up. Who's that gonna be? We got Aiden Hutchinson. Nice. Three color patch and autograph. 164 out of 199. A lot of work for the Lions. Still got a lot of a lot of work to do, but they're starting to add some individual pieces. Detroit, Jared O'Malley won the Lions in that filler. A likely story from this guy here, 325. And we got Tyquan Thornton. 41 out of 349. Anyone in the New England area? I'm oh, curious about the uh, what the sports talk radio buzz is today after after last night's game. Is there quarterback controversy? Maybe not. Maybe there is. And Tyquan Thornton will go to Mark in the Patriots. He's from that area. Well, maybe when he checks in. He'll, he'll let us know. Yeah. 
Got Kevin Harris to 149. There's Mac Jones to 199. Mechie to 199. Mechie for the Texan. That'll be for Alex. Mac Jones, Patriot. That'll be for Mark. As well as the Kevin Harris. And we've got Brian Robinson, 31 out of 299. Great comeback from him this season. That's for Diego and the Commanders. We've got Alexander Madison, Mirror Signatures, 17 out of 125. That'll be for the Vikings. It's going to go to Jared. Got Matt Ryan. And then a Gabriel Davis and a Kid Reporter card. All right, next box. Second half in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. When we started this break about 15 minutes ago, there were two teams left. Now there's only one team left, the Steelers. So if you're feeling spicy, grab the Steelers, $249.99. You can get them straight up. Or maybe everyone's waiting to see what happens in this half before they get the sealers in the second half. We'll find out. The last division that we need to check in on is the NFC West. Also, Seahawks are four and three, ladies and gentlemen. And they've put up more points than anyone in the NFC West. In most divisions, I think. They've, they have 183 points. Just at a glance, that might be second in the league. Ravens have 181 points. Chiefs have scored 223 points. It's crazy. Yeah, Alex Donnelly's like, Russell who? Go Hawks, four and three on top of the NFC West. If someone told me that after seven weeks and a nice Malik Willis, 26 out of 99, three color patch and autograph, tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo for Daniel. There you go, freshman fabric. That's who you're looking for, the RPA quarterback. There you go, Daniel. But yeah, if you told me that by after week seven that the uh, Seahawks will be four and three and on top of the division, I would have said you were you're out of your mind. Speaking of Seahawks, there he is, twenty two out of twenty five mirror signatures, Jordan Brooks. That'll be for Walter in Seattle. I would have said you're crazy. I'll be honest with you. But there they are. There's Alante Taylor for the Saints. Kyle Pitts for the Falcons. Yeah, the Rams are three and three. And I think they, they won, but I mean they just have not looked very convincing in their wins and their losses have not been very good. Here's Trey McBride, 102 out of 249. Allen with Arizona. So they're just they're still trying to figure things out in LA. Cam Akers isn't happy. He's on his way out. Make it. I don't know where he's gonna go trade wise, but we'll we'll see. Here is Brady Quinn autograph. Yeah. Well, Brady Quinn, 27 out of 30. Some nice penmanship there. He does some uh, some color commentary on. In college football games, I think you hear him on sports radio as well. This is Browns edition. Brody with the Browns. Cleveland, this is for you. 
Fox Sports Radio is where you'll find them. There's a Tom Brady. It's a slightly thicker cardstock here. Scoring machines insert. I don't know how common those are, but that'll go to the Buccaneers. That'll be for Dwayne. And we got another strong relic here. 247 out of 399. Carson Strong. Eagles. It'll be for Brandon. Troy Anderson to 149. Some kid reporter cards. All right, we are halfway through the break. We've got about another 15, 20 minutes to go. Good luck. So maybe after after week eight, we'll be kind of, well, the 17 games, it's kind of hard to split the season cleanly in half, but after week eight, we're pretty much at the halfway point of the season. It'll be interesting to see how this all shakes out. I mean, I guess one big storyline is, can the Eagles, how far can they go undefeated-wise? They're facing Pittsburgh this week. Steelers in Philly. I mean, that's got to be a win, right? They're at Houston. That's got to be a win. Home to the Commanders. That's got to be a win. At Colts. I don't know. Who knows? We'll have to see who's quarterbacking them. Maybe Sam Ellinger is like the the second coming of Patrick Mahomes or something like that. If that's the case, that might be a challenge. Another Eagle, another Carson Strong, this time with his autograph. 51 out of 99. Brandon Craddock with the Eagles. Won him in the filler. There's Eric right here to 399. G-Lo, what's going on? Then we'll see. I mean, I suppose that Green Bay matchup in late... Um, there's a number right there, 10 out of 50. That Green Bay matchup in late November could be interesting if the Packers have figured something out. Then the Eagles host Tennessee after that at Giants. Well, that could be a fun matchup too. At Chicago, at Dallas, home to the Saints, home to the Giants to close things out. 88 out of 99, there's Mac Jones, piece of the pigskin. Maybe a little quarterback controversy. Brody, what's going on? How are you? So, we'll see. You know, it's very, obviously, stating the obvious, but it's very difficult, especially with 17 games, to go undefeated. Usually it's going to be like, it'll be some random team that'll trip them up. I feel like is what's going to be the thing. There's Jamison Williams to 249. He might be on his way back in the next week or two. I could change the. Uh, I could change people's fantasy teams right here. I got him stashed away in one of my teams, or possibly Lions fortunes. It's George Pickens, new generation relic, 11 out of 399. Oh, that Tom Brady in that last box was a case hit. Nice. And looked a little different. That's for the Steelers. That'll be for Riley. Yeah, it was on a heavier card stock. Top load that. Redemption. There's Nick Benito for the Broncos. I'll go to Denver. 
the redemption is going to be Traylon Burks, rookie roll call signatures, mirror red. Traylon Burks is a uh, Titan. Yes. Confirm. Daniel with Tennessee. A few more boxes to go. Yeah, Gilo is wondering: Has anyone heard any some any uh, any juicy NFL trade rumors? One of my favorite websites from the from the from the guys that brought you MLBTradeRumors.com. There's ProFootballRumors.com. Let's see what what rumors are out there. Ravens has signed Deshaun Jackson. I'm not sure how old that news is or new that is. Panthers trade, we saw that. Elijah Moore asking Jets for a trade. Jaguars. Um, Jaguars trading James Robinson to the Jets. I'm not sure if there's really any other, other juicy tidbits here. But on October 21st, now still four days ago, so I don't know if there's anything... Anything really up to date? I get some of the headlines here. Nathaniel Hackett not planning to seed play call, concede play calling duties. They've got to figure that out. Falcons cut Marlon Davidson. Saints placing Bradley Roby on IR. Not sure it's really a lot of Steelers unlikely to trade Chase Claypool. Yeah, the deadline's next week. Teams are apparently continue to look into the big bodied receiver per Jason Lacanfora of the post, but Claypool should not be expected to move, says Mark Caboli of the Athletic. I feel like there's teams that could use a Chase Claypool. Ooh, there's Amir White, freshman fabric. 155 out of 249. Hasn't really figured into too much of the Raiders' action just because Josh Jacobs has been playing incredibly well, but as the season goes on, maybe we'll see we'll see him kind of give Jacobs a rest here and there. This will go to um, Jeffrey and the Raiders. And if Zamir White can get into a good groove, ooh. That Raiders rushing attack just might save their season. Once they started running the ball a lot more, this definitely definitely balanced things out for them. It's been a lot more successful. There's Darnell Mooney to 199. Bears and Arnold Abiketie to 325 for the Falcons. And Reach for the sky. 292 out of 349. Sky more. That's for Kansas City. Jared O'Malley picking up the Chiefs straight up. There's Lamar Jackson, certified stars at Yeah, what's going on with Odell Beckham Jr.? Who's going to take him? There's DeAndre Swift to 75. Dark Horses insert to 149. Amon Ross St. Brown. There's Cam Taylor Britt to 275. Poor Brees Hall. I feel bad for him. And then Mike Allstott coming up. Is that an autograph? It is. Mirror signatures. 16 out of 35. Mike Allstott. That'll be for Dwayne. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers won that spot in the um, in that filler. 
Yeah, Odell Beckham Jr. I know the Rams are trying to get after him, but I don't know if they they've got some uh, some cap issues that may not may not really work for them. Damian Pierce, he's having a great season. 89 out of 199. Texans. It'll be for Alex. G Lo saying Chiefs might go defense. Not sure how active my Raiders are going to be in the trade window. I'm not sure really where they could. Antonio Gibson, 340. I suppose they could add to, they could keep adding to the defense. Just like G Lo's Chiefs. The yeah, Raiders could use. They got some guys banged up a little bit. They could use maybe some, some more secondary help, I suppose. Oh, you know what? I gotta start getting used to this Tuesday schedule here, ladies and gentlemen. Tuesdays and Thursdays are gonna be your TNT nights. Well, NBA basketball, I got Pelicans at Mavs. I think Brandon Ingram is out. I think, uh, I think Zion's out too. With just minor injuries, but I think it's one of those, if it was the playoffs, they could play kind of injuries. I think this stage of the season, they're just being a little safe. You know, Brian Burns, that could be a name. Chris, what's going on? How are you? So after dealing Robbie Anderson, Christian McCaffrey, this according to ProFootballTradeRumors.com, the Panthers seem unwilling to sh uh, strip away pieces from their homegrown young core. Brian Burns' name has headlined this group, but teams have discussed the fourth-year defensive end with the Panthers. They've still discussed it fourth-year defense then with the Panthers. Panthers look to have made it known they do not want to deal Burns. And Adam Schefter of ESPN.com noting the team turned down an offer of two first-round picks for the Pro Bowl pass rusher. Wow. Burns would make for a lower-profile addition to the exclusive club of defenders dealt for two first-round picks in recent years. Khalil Mack, Dylan Ramsey, Jamal Adams. A lot of teams could use a, uh, a Brian Burns, that's for sure. There's Jalen Hurts at 349. He's looking good. The Eagles are looking good. There's Wandale Robinson. Piece of the game. 75 out of 99. Piece of his jersey going to Dwayne and the New York Football Giants. Najee Harris at 249. Uh, Javante Williams to 99. Rashad White. Matthew Stafford. And we got Cornelius Bennett. Mirror signature is 19 out of 50. It'll be for Dwayne and the New York Football Giants. Steve Birch saying Zion is a great player, but I don't think we'll ever see his full potential. I'll always be hurt in one way or the other. Yeah, that, that might be the thing that nags him throughout the year. Although this injury is not supposed to keep him out for more than a game. At least that's what they're saying now. There's Debo to 149. Nick, what, uh, what breaks are coming up? If you click that link that Nightbot just dropped, I'll take it to the schedule. It'll let you know what breaks are coming up, what breaks we've done, what breaks we're doing, and what breaks are coming up. If there's stuff sold out on the site and not on the schedule, I just need to go through orders and then add stuff to the schedule. But that's where you can see what we're doing. There's Jalen Tolbert's 99 piece of his jersey for Emma and the Cowboys. There's Dak Prescott will go to Emma as well. Redemption. Uh, Jelani Woods.
Pelicans are already up 57-47 on Dallas. No, no Zion, no Brandon Ingram, no problem. At least for the first half. Four minutes left in the second quarter. The redemption is going to be James Cook. Freshman fabric, mirror signatures, red. James Cook. No, not the British explorer James Cook. I, I know him. The running back James Cook, who is uh, on the Bills. And if you're wondering, yes, he is the younger brother of fellow running back Dalvin Cook. That's right, Alex Bills. You got it too. And that is for Nick Galvin who won the Bills in the filler. Buffalo! According to Wikipedia, uh, James Cook's middle name, Dalvin. So what's Dalvin Cook's middle name, James? Uh, it is. <laughs> So a little trivia, Dalvin Cook's middle name is James. His brother's middle name, James Cook's middle name, Dalvin. That's according to Wikipedia, unless someone's been goofing on that, on those pages. There you go. Yeah, you know what? Someone else mentioned that a week or two ago. That someone had correlated uh, Phillies World Series victories with economic downturns. I think they pointed to. I think they pointed to. Uh, was it the 08 housing crisis, maybe? And then maybe something up, maybe some other year, maybe some, something in the early 90s. Something like that. It's happened over time, even in their Philadelphia A's championship years. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. Um, I wonder if it's more, uh, if it's more the Phillies not causing an economic downturn, but just economic downturns causing the Phillies to move. It's the other way, other way around. Maybe, maybe they just follow the markets. There's David Bell to 99, and Bailey Zappi to 399. A little quarterback controversy out there for the Patriots. Tyquan Thornton to 399. Mark with the Pats. But I think they've uh, I think they've tried to um, I think they've correlated like what number one songs are with markets as well. What's my middle name? Nice try, Gilo. Identity thief. There's Tyler Beatty, 50 out of 50. There's Seal of Approval, 2 out of 50, Javante Williams. Next thing, Gilo's going to be like, yeah, and your social security number and your mother's maiden name. Nice try, Gilo. I wasn't born yesterday, man. We got George Pickens, jersey and autograph. Nice. 206 out of 349. That will be for the Steelers. Riley won the Steelers in that filler. You know, and if they do trade Chase Claypool, then a lot more targets for uh, for Pickens. Got Trayvon Walker to 275, and Brian Robinson Jr. 
146 out of 349. Piece of his jersey. There's DeAndre Hopkins to 349. And that, my friends, is your break. Eight box, pick your team nine in the books. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Let's do a quick little recap here. Um, how is break 10 doing? No, still Steelers left. Only saw that George Pickens. Maybe, Ken, maybe Kenny Pickett on the other half. Brady Quinn mixed in there as well. Nice Malik Willis. Pretty solid break. Ladies and gentlemen, Aiden Hutchinson. Dotson. John Mechie. Garrett Wilson. A lot of fun stuff, boys and girls. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.